Hello everyone, Lord Aegeon here with another Company Heroes 2 replay. Spawning the top side, we have as USF player, but Banana in Pajamas. Interesting. And we have Dark Region. Dark Region has gotten a brand carry out. This is called, I think this map's called Mix something. Mix? I'm not sure. Uh, Spawning as the OKW player, we have RN RTN Momo sh for show. Momo for show? Whatever, how you p properly pronounce it. And spawning as a Wehrmacht player, we have RTN Size. Sizey? Size. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> And I'm always bad pronouncing names. The, cool, the Bren Carrier is the best counter for the early game Kubel. Then it can be upgraded to Flamethrower for even greater firepower. Pioneer is coming up. Especially on this uh, entry section, these Pioneers should go up and start hitting it. The Bren can't really deal with an MG at a range. It has to be on a flank and at point blank to get maximum accuracy. Kubel is being repaired up by the two Storm Pioneers are left. Kubel is trying to hit the flanking, uh, M flanking the MG. Yeah, it's down to one man. He has to retreat now. With two men, you can stick it out. With one man, no, you can't. Especially with, uh, Bren Carrier, I think the rear echelon's still alive, so the Bren Carrier can get some repairs. Room for tree section over here, rear echelon's over here. Bren Carrier's trying to move forward once again. It's getting some nice damage on the Kubel. So he actually targeted down the Student Pioneer. Which is sort of nice, prevents those repairs. The Kubel should just back up to base now. It's there's nothing can do the fight. Oh, oh, actually the Bren Carry is actually a bit low in health now. And actually, surprised enough, up fed up one for taking out so much damage to the infantry. I was this squad over here was trying to get a Panzer Faust, but this squad was able to successfully get it up. He should just retreat. He cannot take on two squads. Yeah, he can't take on two squads. He gotta save at least one, actually two men. Grenadiers will crush rear echelon, and the Kubel is now still alive, and the Bren carrier is now dead. What are you? Well, going is. Is he going for a lieutenant or a uh, captain? It does have enough fuel. Well, what am I thinking? The lieutenant doesn't have any fuel. Medical HQ is being built, but when it's still building, it can take massive gun damage. Gun type damage. Student Pioneer, still a one man. A nice destroy on the early medical HQ before we finish. The early Vakenwerfer, well, the Bren carrier is destroyed. I don't think he. Probably his teammate didn't tell him that it was destroyed. That's why he got the Vakenwerfer. Folks, Grenadier is trying to take up the infantry section. Of course, they can be on the wrong side of cover, but still, I think. Do they still get their cover bonus if they're even on the wrong side of cover? I know, uh. Ostrupen do. And they made their push all the way to their, their opponent's field. This, uh. Yeah, right from it should get back.
Vickers is now up, preventing them from even recapture the fuel. This is actually a pretty bad situation for the Axis team. Infantry section trying to move forward. Apologies, yeah, just go for the capture here. Over here is way too close space, and plus you see a Stoom Pioneer and Volk. He should just retreat. Well, this squad probably is going to move forward to help support them. Gets a nice kill on one of the Stoom Pioneers, reducing their damage output. Going for artillery. <sighs> really, artillery is not that artillery is not that good. Look how long it's taking to shoot. Looks like the American flag player did go for a lieutenant and did get, did get out of flak and uh, looks like he went for the what is it called infantry doctrine. Infantry company. And of course the flak can somehow now fire straight forward. I've been seeing this a lot. There's some sort of bug that allowed them to sh shoot straight forward. Like, luckily that Buchanan Warfare will do something. Of course it's now out of range, but it did uh, get a one shot on it. second shot would have killed it. Trying to move forward. These grenadiers should help out the Stoom Pioneers. They're sitting around the sandbag. Now it's good for them to sit around the sand. Nope, not good. <laughs> Some sort of ringer on the Rosie and they don't even realize it. The two infantry sections try and take out these Volk. The Volk gets in the building. Yeah, seriously, what's up with the recent bug allowing the uh, flak to fire straight forward? Is it supposed to be... I don't think it ever was able to shoot straight forward. Mortar coming in from the uh, mortar half-track. This squad has such little health, that's why they're losing so many. Retreat. Retreat. The Fed Cannon Warfare is coming up, but it's all by itself. Pack uh, 40 is out. Another artillery flare. He has spotted there's no mines in this area, so seeing the uh, with infantry company, the American player can have its own mines. I really hate how this, even though it says M5, their circle, their square, their T30, the uh, not was a T35. Mine from this for the Soviets. TM is TM thirty five. Remember now. Grenadiers trying to get some cover. Now would be a good time. Oh, most of uh, British players don't get grenades. And the artillery, <coughs> it really doesn't too much. He was way out of of line. Oh, out of a uh, bombardment range by the time they actually start coming down and it plus it costs 45 munitions over the 30 munition grenade well 25 actually oh I suppose it's cost 30 munitions for the Germans since it has an extended range that would make sense the American grenade is 27 wait that the British players get cheaper grenades than the Americans so strong button trying to hit that uh 
this button over here to look at the doctrines because I think it might be a grenade, not doctrine, a bulletin. Yeah, that's why the grenades. The, the grenades cost 30. And it seems like the British player grenade. The British grenades are stronger. Oh, the, <laughs> he should have tried jumping into it, honestly. Some, uh, German sniper is now out. This uh, Vic is suppressing the squad, and the machine gun crew gets suppressed by the BS infantry support gun. Which, supposedly on the 29th, two days from now from when I'm recording, is going to receive its well-deserved nerf, and the pack howitzer. Originally, the, I believe the suppression was at 0 .03, and now it is at 0 .3. They increased, oh, that's a nice kill on the Shrek. But it's a. Uh, they times the uh, def the what's it called the uh, suppression by ten. That's why the the suppression's way way too high, and they're only nerfing it down to 0.23. From honestly, it doesn't need the suppression. It's actually pretty accurate to keep the suppression. If they want suppression, maybe down to 0.15 or 0.110. I mean, the uh, OKW players do have an MG, it's called the Kubel. Though it has different properties, can't be garrisoned, it has a bit more protection than a uh, infantry squad since it can run away. Two Vaganen Warfers are now out, they both get demanned. The British player should have uh, manned them both, but this one if manned, it will remove that squad entirely. Let's try and get the infantry support gun, another Good juicy target. Grenadier is trying to come in. Oh, it looks like the centaur did get was destroyed by the Panzerfaust and perhaps the Shrek squad. Did this guy get a vehicle kill? No, it was no vehicle kill, so it was apparently the Panzerfaust that killed it. Perhaps it maybe did have some help by that Shrek, I'm not sure. So another uh, shot. I just know that some it's the support gun and pack halls are very BS. Like, I've been hit. It doesn't even hit me, it pins me. Not like my squad's here, the largest guy's about here, it hits here, pinned. Yeah, as you can see, I'm ticked off with the pack howitzer and uh, infantry support gun. I don't really play that much until that stuff is nerfed. It's just, I can't deal with that crap. Usually so, the maps like, like this one, it's really hard to get a good flank unless you go out and pay for vehicles, which then you can't deal with the other opponent's early armor. For example, a Sherman, Centaur, Panzer IV. Scroll down a bit. I probably should cover the bulletins. We got a bunch of Grim Reaper for cheaper Shreks. It can be effective, but overall I'm not exactly a fan of it. At that rate, the... let's see... It was cost 77 over 90, so that is a good amount. Which is sort of necessary versus the Flame Half... the Flame Bren. A band <laughs> needs one more shot. And oh wait, that one shot was destruction. That's a, very, that's a very nice kill on a Sherman. Instant death. I mean, that's the only way to counter. You don't really want to pay for a crappy Panzer IV versus a Centaur tank, so people rather prefer uh, getting a bunch of AT. I'm not a pan of pan fan of the Panzer IV. Some people are. I am not. I just never had good luck with it. I have more luck with a T-34-76. It is not firing. Perhaps he should try uh, de-garrisoning it. 
Perhaps maybe that will cause it to fire. Centaur tank. Once there was a death by centaur tank, so perhaps there was a second one. No, wait, that's a Brennan. Where's the other carcass? Uh, they're trying to make a move forward. This uh, vehicle was salvaged. That was the Sherman. There was another tank there. I'm pretty sure there was a dead uh, centaur. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's look at the fuel mount. That doesn't really help me. At this late of game, you with that amount of fuel income, they have plenty of fuel to spare. Will we go for a Comet or for a Churchill? Churchills are definitely the way to go now. Comets are just not that good. They're supposed to be like Panthers, but but with better infantry fighting capability since they cost much, much more. They cost uh, 10 more fuel and I believe uh, at least 25 more manpower so it's not much, much more, but they don't have really the fighting capabilities compared to a Panther. Command Pan Panzer IV is now out as great infantry fighting capability compared to the uh, regular Panzer IV due to the short barrel and higher explosion radius but decreased armor penetration. Engine damage, mobility, reduce. Two snipers are out. He has not gotten, he's going straight for the elephant tank. That's why he's saving up his all of his fuel. Probably didn't cover the rest, but you can see MGMG, infantry section, infantry, uh, infantry. Try and take out the uh, AT, but needs to retreat that nice Vet 3 Grenadier. Another Vet 3 Grenadier coming forward. Centaur tank pushing one of these Grenadiers. This uh, mortar half tracks the garrison. Where is that American player to click on? The infantry crew was. Ah, uh, I think it was maybe a support gun or something that killed one of the crew members, and then he needs three crew members to operate it. Of course, you can't re get one man to drive into it and retreat with it. You must actually have full men on the scene. Yeah, Panzer's out. It can. It's meant for dealing with the center tank. But Jackson can outrange the. Uh, I believe they can outrange the Yag Panzer, but does. It, but it has less armor, but greater mobility. It has its trade-offs. Basically, what I'm saying. Yeah, the new doctrine for that's coming out for OKW for flamethrowers. I was thinking, why? Just to make a OKW counterpart to Infantry Company? Well, not Infantry Company, uh, uh, Elite Rifles? What is it called? Veteran Rifle Company? Or is it just called Rifle Company? Not sure. Uh, Volkren there never really had any trouble in giving them a doctrine to make them even way even stronger and plus have been buffing the flamethrower the next patch will buff the flamethrower so there's been a theory going around that relic buffs like the British doctrine so people will buy it and now the the new patch notes is going to be buffing the uh ouch walk straight into artillery barge <coughs> and I just said barge there's something in my throat And so, as I was saying before, they were. Jackson was taken out by the two AT guns. He has to retreat it back and repair it. Grenadier is trying to take it out with the, with the LMGs of the rifles. I think that's their LMG, isn't it? This is bar. This is uh, the LMG. Yeah. 
to be honest, I always think this would look like more of the bars, and this more looks like an LMG to me. It's just what it looks like to me. But, as I was saying before, uh, they, in the next patch, they're also buffing, f like, flame-type weaponry while reducing the initial damage but increasing the pool. So, they're buffing, there's been people saying they buff uh, the British so much so people will buy it, like how they do in other games. And then they're going to nerf it along the way to make it more balanced. I have a feeling it's sort of that way with the new like flame uh, buffs that are happening in the next uh, update, so it's a bit of uh, questionable business practice, I should say. I just know that uh, the OKW new one would be way overpowered, I'm going to just say that, with a flame uh, Hetzler. Well, the flame Hetzler will be not as uh, overpowered compared to like a Chirk Flame Church or KV-8 because it's it should only fire from one direction the flame weapon from one direction the Church uh, Flame weapon can only fire from one direction also however it has a very good mobility of that tank so that's not usually a problem I wonder if the Flame Head will keep its cannon be balanced? I hope not. But this is Relic, who knows. <clears throat> I wonder, he should, should be the, yeah, the same uh, cruiser tank as before. I wonder if they got killed or not. A nice uh, rocket strike coming in, but really didn't do that much of how congested that area was. Grandier is trying to take out the lieutenant. The lieutenant threw out a smoke grenade, or launched, I should say. The, uh, Hetzer was destroyed by the, by the, uh, Jackson, which is now on f the burning carcass, and the Sherman Firefly. Uh, I think there's artillery flare that came out, and that's what... Yeah, there's artillery coming down, though I didn't see an explosion there. No explosion. No explosion. <laughs> this game in a nutshell. There's a crocodile ready to call and now we got a crocodile out. <clears throat> Probably the more than the most BS tanks in the game. I absolutely hate it. It's just that that flame damage. Destroys tanks and destroys uh, infantry. What more could you want? Incendiary grenade, of course, the maximum range or the minimum range around it prevents them from actually firing into the towards the cover. Infantry section now has its cover and actually a flanking area. Might have won, I'm not sure. We have not seen a command glider yet for the forward HQ. I've noticed something. A lot of people don't build forward HQs anymore since the support guns are way too effective. And the command pa uh, panther, not panther, uh, command panzer has nothing in on a Churchill, because it has lower armor penetration. There goes the Vakenwerfer. And look at that flank. Sprays it everywhere. The Churchill was pushed back by the two dual pack and the and the bit of the Vakenwerfers. Just one of the Vakenwerfers missing. Was it destroyed? What was it to capture? No Vikanian Warfare by this player. No Vikanian Warfare, so must have been destroyed. 
the, he has gotten a priest out, which can push back uh, HQs, but no HQs was built on the front line. Uh, and he has not built a Shavia just yet. I don't think ever yet. Uh, I'm trying to see the building. Ah, uh, the King Tiger. That's what I'm looking for. Requires all three. He has not acquired all three yet, so he has not built the Shavia yet just yet. Ooh, a Storm Tiger. I love myself. Good Storm Tiger. Because they can one shot uh, Jacksons. They can one shot T 3476s. They can one shot Panzer IVs, I believe, if they ever capture them. Take about 75% of out of the health of a Churchill and shock it. Can take out a Sherman Firefly. Can take out regular Shermans, I believe, also, but not easy 8s. <coughs> Missing, uh, thing. Don't see that often. The artillery fire. Well, is there a pack howitzer out? I suppose. I just realized he has t taken the uh, pack of uh, the mortar half track of the. Oh look, fire shot off. It's gonna take out the AT gun. A reliable target. He could have gotten the Sherman Firefly if the other player was not paying attention. Which he didn't move the AT gun, so he wasn't paying attention. Just a bit of a greedy target, I would say, in my opinion, if you go for the Sherman Firefly. But sometimes greed can pay off. Ode to greed. And looks like with the Typhoon Strife? Is that what it's called? I need to stop switching between the players. It's starting to lag up the game. Nice, uh, infantry support gun. Suppressing and pinning. This squad is almost down. And a shock. Did this shock it? What shock? Oh, the AT guns. They have that shock ability. Getting the Sherman fire... The Churchill fire... Crocodile. Why am I saying Sherman Firefly? The two snipers are still alive. He's trying to retreat away from the LMGs, which they almost kill one. Another infantry, uh, well, another rock strike for the finale. Looks like the airplane was shot down. Suppression. He could go up and throw a grenade. Though he's trying to run down the centaur, but it's not worth it. Pinned and almost killing the entire squad because it hit the top of the vehicle and the explosion radius does go through walls and killed most of that squad. Nice hit on the, uh, nice kill on the elephant. Didn't think that would go down so early. Just needs one more shot. Nice suppression from the MG and nice uh, damage from the centaur. The two Vikan Warfers are moving forward. They could get a snipe on the Jackson if he's not paying attention. Oh, that lag. They're not deployed. They're, they are not deployed. They are in stealth, but the lieutenant did see them. He's sprinting up towards them. Since he's bet three, he can sprint. I can't really select them and show it because I'll also lag up my game quite a bit. Kills both. Oh. That was so close to wiping out the lieutenant. I didn't see this, uh, Storm Tiger. And suppressed. That hardly did anything. It hardly did any damage and suppressed. I usually play German, so my criticizing ger the German weapons is pretty reasonable. I actually love playing Wehrmacht the most. And I still say the infantry support gun's bullshit. Which I haven't said shit in this replay. I try to keep my uh, language down to a minimum. But I absolutely hate the infantry support gun and the pack calitzer. AP mines are down. 
which I believe they can also stun vehicles or detract them. Okay, that can disable vehicles. Anti-personnel mines that disable vehicles can be triggered by infantry, even though it's anti-personnel mines. Great wording, Relic. Still want to know what this is. Suppression on the uh, bulk artillery flare coming out. Just wards them away, but it's their own sector. They can be ward away and be fine. Stoom Tiger all loaded up and ready to fire, but it's taking fire from Jackson. Want to retreat back before firing due to the fact that once he gets done firing, he have little health left and then can be run down by the Jackson. Top of the tree disappears, <laughs> just falls straight down. Physics. We have all, all this amazing physics technology, but none of it's realistic. More. I think that's the time on target by the American player. Yeah, that's definitely is. I don't want to select him because it's starting to lag the game. Stoom Tiger coming forward. Way too far forward. He's going to fire the pack Calitzer's target. He's going to miss. Yeah, he's going to miss. He canceled it. For, going to need to pull it back and get it some repairs. Assume Pioneer should repair it. Get bring back the Mech HQ to be also for faster repairs. I would say Churchill Crocodile is out once again. He's bringing forward the Stoom Tiger. He's going to gamble. He's going to a nice stun shot. This is going to be another stun shot. Perhaps the engine destruction. I didn't even see it. Look at launch, and it destroyed the Churchill. He gets the kill. Two vehicles destroyed. My little Stoom Tiger. That's what I like to call it. My little Stoom Tiger. And no, I'm not a brony. And she support guns hitting his own men. But the suppression is by the MGs what cause a suppression. If that makes sense. I'm starting to bumble my words. Reloading. A little tidbit for all who don't know when I'm watching uh, about Company Heroes 2 since I also cast Grey Goo. If uh, the Stoom Tiger takes enough damage while reloading, it will automatically de garrison. It could be have like 75% of its health left and it still can de garrison while reloading. I have done that so many times with partisans. So fun. I remember one time I stole a Stoom Tiger. It was like, what the fuck did he, what happened? I had explained to him that, uh, that you can de-garrison a flak? Interesting choice. I would not agree with this. Because there's tanks. Well, suppose you want to have perhaps some Yog Ponds would be the best choice over a Panther. Or save up for a King Tiger Flak? Not so much. Haha, <laughs> it was the garrison for the second shot or third shot destroyed it. Stoom Tiger coming forward. It has half health, so it is a bit of a risk. It has little health left. He decided it's too much of a risk. He needs to pull it back to the mech HQ, get it repaired, and be repairful. This Stoom Tiger should retreat. Nice rocket strike in this area. Nice. I'm not sure if there's an explosion or not. It looked like there was a bit of an explosion there also. My game's a bit buggy in this replay. Nice kill on these last couple. I think those are Vet 3 both LMGs. You can see it has two LMGs here. And that they're still alive. Yeah, they're gonna crawl away. Airplane came down just missing the group. 
might have killed a Stoom Tiger if it were to land on it. But they reduced the overall damage of falling aircraft uh, about a year ago, I'd say. To vent it all the BS. Because I had times where the aircraft fell on a. Uh, on a King Tiger and instantly killing it. When I had it had about half of itself left. I believe it's original falling damage is around 700, and now it's like 100 and something. Because uh, they're trying to reduce the RNG aspects of this game, which that sort of an RNG aspect, which is really, really game uh, winning or breaking when losing entire tank just to a falling aircraft. Flying debris. Of course, debris like of big heavy metal would fly everywhere. Physics. Both shots miss from the, both the pack 40s. I get the Shroom Tiger up and rolling. <clears throat> Cannot have two Shroom Tigers and call off heavy wet tanks, excluding the KV-1. Can uh, be called off at once. However, heavy tanks that are not call off doctrines, such as the King Tiger and the Churchill, can be greater than one. The KV 1 is considered a heavy tank, but not really. It has a 76mm equivalent to a 76 T 34 76 70 T 34 76. I think I'm just stuttering over my words now. I'm a bit tired. It's early in the morning. Three snipers, two was a bit too much, honestly. Not demanding the pack howitzer, it needs to have four of its crew member lost and have two crew members left to be actually demanded. Three snipers is just. I suppose it's to eliminate. <laughs> eliminate. Eliminate uh, the veteran infantry of the American player since he's kept the, them alive quite. Uh, Mo, he just kept them quite alive, and now they're being extremely effective. Captain's not of the vet one, but the lieutenant is. I suppose the the German players did not get a mass tank spam, and so the captain has trouble leveling up, not leveling up, vetting up, compared to like a uh, Grandier versus a uh, Jackson. Since the leveling up versus armor. Not leveling up, arm vetting up versus armor is based on the amount of how much damage you've done, and the Jackson has paper thin armor. So they can do maximum amount of damage. <clears throat> Yag Panzer should pull back and get some repairs. I just hate seeing damage to my tanks. Like right here, pull back and repair. Unless I need it in the front line. Looks like that's a priest shot. The priest is still alive, if I remember. Is the priest still alive? I have to click. Yeah, the priest is still alive. This, uh, Panzer IV almost dying. Destroys the Jackson with a Stoom Tiger. Looks like a sneaky grenadier, but of course he ran to this capture point. Perhaps he should a waypoint move or Q move around that point to immediately get to around here. Looks like there was a sandbag. It's partially set up by the British player. No, it was set up by the Volk. Got a responding Sherman tank. Hopefully it's loaded with HE rounds. I should stop selecting units. Yes, it is loaded with HE. This Sherman might run down this Grenadier back to base. Who knows? Gets a mess. 
Rifleman coming forward. It might be the death of this vet three. Yes, it is. With the Sherman taking the final kill. I want to select the Stoom Tiger because I love the Stoom Tiger. By far, the Stoom Tiger is probably my favorite tank of the game. Then the Broom Bar. I love using Broom Bars versus Shermans and killing Shermans. Yeah, Broom Bars actually have quite effective. Uh, medium armor fighting. Not good against heavy armor, so never spam it versus Churchills. However, you can spam broom bars against cent well, centaurs are not like AP, but you can spam broom bars versus uh, Shermans. Regular Shermans, not easy aids. Artillery coming in. Rifleman trying to get in a flank. Yeah, he has a panic track with this uh, man. But he's going to be killed. He's going to be killed. Will he survive? Yes, he does survive. There's artillery coming in here. Perhaps a time on target. Yes, a time on target. Another elephant tank out coming out. Well, it is out. I'm just bumbling over my words today. Looks like he hit a... Uh, landmine here. Nice, a good thing he did. Cover his flank with a AT mine, and now he has popping out smoke. This pack howitzer would have got fi force fire to ground and miss. Yag pawns are moving forward. Gets a nice killing shot. The two uh, Jacksons now retreating back to the Sherman smoke, and the Jacksons cannot get a hit off. They're trying to follow through the smoke. Ah, an anticipation shot, but too early, too early. Nice idea trying to get the anticipation shot. I think it's out of control. No, just bad pathfinding and dies. Currently, the German players are down their VPs about a hundred percent lower than uh. Than the American, than the not Americans, uh, the British and the American player. Seventeen pounder heavy AT gun, probably to counteract with the elephant in play. The max range is out to here, if you notice. You can cover the VP, protecting it with two uh, he heavy engineers. Still have not got the five man upgrade. The five man upgrade, you sh it's a must need upgrade. Who, who doesn't want additional 25% effectiveness with all their basic infantry and basic engineers? Hmm. I haven't really seen the piercing shot done much. Looks like the command half glider was called down here. Oh, I think he was winning the fuel sector so it can increase the income by the fuel. It's just at the edge. He probably should have... I'm trying to see the outlines. Oh, wait. The outline for the fuel sector is actually right around here so it's actually a bit dangerous any closer. Stream Tiger shot came out somewhere. I want to click on Stoom Tiger. It has 13 kills. Of course, the grenade of the Stoom Tiger is not as good as the Churchill grenade since it it's not a closer combat tank. And plus, it takes a pretty long time for actually to launch, and its radius is a bit smaller than the Churchill's. Honestly, this grenade's pretty worthless. Though, it can throw another player through a loop, and I think it's also a grenade impact explode on hit, unlike the Churchill's so throw out the hatch type grenade. Hands of four missing. Nice late game NG, just provides good amounts of pressure. 
Shroom Titan, Pioneer's trying to move forward for the capture. Once again, not Q waypointing it. Every trading before he gets any, takes any additional damage. Are you serious? Why do they change directions? Why would they even go down this direction in the first place? Pathing in a nutshell. I had a game with really bad pathing for a tree. And a shot here. The lag destroys one, almost destroying the other. Engine is overheated. Apparently it did get destroyed, it didn't stay out of control. Destroying two of those Jacksons with a nice shot. Mass retreat of the snipers and two Volk. They have captured the point, so they just need to move up their vehicles and AT guns and AMGs, you get the idea, and secure it. Infantry support guns trying to focus down this, uh, focus, man, am I bumbling over my words today. Trying to focus down this, uh, AT gun. Another, uh, Typhoon Strike, Strafe. Didn't get any kills, not any, any significant damage either. That other Strafe maybe got one kill I thought I saw over here, but nothing much. I'm not really a fan of the type, the Typhoon Strength Strafe. It costs like 200 munitions for it. Not really that effective compared to like the American Rocket Strafe. But he is doing actually now a bit of damage to the uh, Elephant. Here, explosion. Ah, uh, looks like a tank died and instantly de -gibbed. I think. No, that was not the Churchill Croc now. I'm not sure what it was. I'm curious, can there only be one Churchill Croc now on the field? Good. There might have been a Sherman Firefly. I'm not sure. Sherman tanks uh, just looming around. Infantry is trying to secure the sector. Both these are Vet 5, Vet 3, Vet 3, Vet 2 Captain. Smoke grenade by the American player, which sort of helps. Unless, well, he's in the point himself. Crocodile now moving forward, and the Sherman with AT rounds just uh, should just sprint out of there and retreat, and which he did, which I'm sort of explaining what already has happened. Kills one of the snipers finally. Oh, wait. These two snipers do not have any vets, so he has lost all of his other snipers. These are not the same two snipers as the same th from before as when we saw those three snipers. Because I know there was two vet three and a vet one, and those are no vets. A nice attempt, but there's so much uh, light cover, it's really not worth the throw off grenades. Schoenpacker getting in position for a shot. A nice stun shot here. Will he do another follow up? Gets immobilized, which is nice. It's in range of any AT, it's in range of the elephant. I need to stop selecting off. I want to keep my curse on the Doom Tiger because you can see it's more and more laggy each time I'm switching. I switch too much. Nice kill on the Churchill Crocodile. Vulcan Deer moving forward. Nice hits on the Yag Panzer. Main Gun Destroy should retreat back to the Mech HQ. A nice uh, suppression. I think it might have been Pack Howitzer that's still uh, alive. Pack Howitzer are still alive. Minimum Manning. Now, with all the infantry pushed back, they have to move, fall back to the tanks. A nice uh, pre shot here. Still trying to keep that infantry support gun shooting at that. Uh, 
17 pounder. Or oh, is it 25 pounder? I think it's actually 25 actually. 17 pounder is the artillery. There goes the pack 40. There goes the Volk Grandeer. We need to see, uh... If it was a King Tiger Heat rounds, that probably would have been good, but then again with this 25 pounder, not so good. The snipers are now here, trying to shoot down the infantry. Looks like we got another Typhoon Strafe. <clears throat> Since the British players don't really spend on grenades or heavy weapons, get a nice shot, almost killing the squads. There's still one man left each. Sturm Tiger, run away, run away. My beautiful little Sturm Tiger. And he's still in the anti tank strafing area. I would just pull it back, just out of the range. But I think all the aircraft are actually dead by the uh, base. Uh, Flat guns. <clears throat> That's another reason why that I don't. There's a reason not to go for the Typhoon Strafe is for the all oh, the base flak. There goes a Vet Five Volks Grenadier, which is a big loss. Since Vet Five is much better than Vet Zero. A nice stun shot on the Churchill Crocodile. It is the Crocodile. Uh, man, I'm looking at the model, not even looking at the symbol. There's a big flame symbol. I was looking at that little fire thing. Oh, apparently these, uh, there's some crew members going in for either a scout or for a flank. I am not sure. Otherwise, it was suicide. If he was suicide, don't want to have it killed, he will let it wiped out. Perhaps maybe it was a scout. Stuka. Mm, I, would, I would disagree on a Stuka. Where is that flak? The flak is sitting back here. Could just put it around here to protect the VP. <coughs> This flak was a very poor choice. How much does it exactly cost of fuel? I don't usually go for a flak when I play OPW. 25, 55 fuel is a bit, but not a lot. But it's meant for early game, so it's it's an early game unit, not a late game unit. Or mid game. As it came out this time. MG cannot see through the smoke, so the retreats it out. There's a Stuka coming in. Trying to kill the emplacement, almost wiping out these uh, two uh, heavy engineer squads. Now the repairing is down to very, very small, to say that nonetheless. Stum Tiger Moon forward. Perhaps we're going to see a grenade throw. Shot coming in. Probably should aim for the Jacksons. Wait, it did kill the Churchill. It, he did kill the Churchill. I didn't see how much health it had. So overall, that was good. Uh, Jackson abandon. Probably should just destroy it from either side. Infantry group and loss. He lost another a Stoom Pioneer here just then, but before I'm not sure what it was. Perhaps maybe it was a cheap Volks Grenadier. Unvetted. Sure, is the other. Is that the same thing or is this thing moved? I could have sworn it wasn't there. I thought it was around here. Maybe I'm losing it. I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe this is not even here and I'm just not even seeing it. I'm just going crazy. Looks like the British player has nothing. He has nothing. He has no AT. He has a couple of heavy engineers. He has nothing left. He does have enough fuel for another Churchill Crocodile. He could probably just spam out regular Churchills. Because he needs a tank out now. V 
got three. What does he get? Another weak point shot. Stoom Tiger had a nice vet four. Five vehicle kills. Increases gun main. Can reload its gun while moving at a reduced speed. I can imagine that's just at a crawl, but this still is pretty helpful. You could just. In theory, you could reload while retreating back if it's safe enough, or reload while moving forward. <clears throat> just some possibilities. Getting hit by uh, Jackson. Going for a shot. Miss everything. I think he, he might have got two of the men, not sure. Extends the range of the main gun. I wonder how far it is now. Before the Stoom Tiger, now the Stoom, before the last update for the Stoom Tiger buffing it when it became a doctrine unit from then a, then a build unit, they increased the buffed it so it's actually more worth it to get it as a doctrine old type unit. In that buff, you can now launch just out of sight range. And this, uh, I wonder how, well, probably does add another tank length, I would say. Of just out of sight range, <clears throat> which can is very devastating. Seeing you don't see the Stoom Tiger and it's firing before it was just in range. Now it's just out of range. In the last update, I should say, involving when it became Doctrine Unit. Nice uh, cap on this VP. Probably should go in and destroy these uh, fuel caches, man. Couldn't think. And this might be the end of the replay. There still is a bit of time left, but the Axis has a lot of armor out, and the uh, Americans and British does not. So it's looking in heavily towards Axis' favor. It was a very rough start. If you if you remember all the way back at the beginning of the replay, for the for the German players, as seeing they didn't even have their own fuel point, they were pushed back that far. But this has been quite a nice comeback. But who? But will they finish it off? We don't know. It's still they still have much less VPs. They have. 200% well 300% I should stop doing math that was already dead oh well you can reload it I prefer the Stoom Tiger over the Churchill AVR Churchill AVR is not as effective versus vehicles as in comparison to the Stoom Tiger though the Churchill AV Looks like it's down to 40 seconds after uh, the Vet 3. Decreased reload time from 60 seconds to 40 seconds. That is actually a pretty fast reload time for it. The Churchill AVR, in comparison, has more mobility. I would say a little bit more armor, because the Stream Tiger does have quite a bit of armor. Though it does have less damage, less area effect, but a very a much much more high rate of fire it has high rate of fire which makes it a bit more sustained in the fight with the uh, also the greater amount of armor also it costs more while well, Stream Tiger is more of an assassin I think that's actually the proper term assassin tank comes in fires one shot gets back <clears throat> Oh, grenade, buddy! Use the grenade. That was.
was a waste of a shot. He could just use the grenade. Nobody expects this grenade launcher. I don't think he... He might not even realize it's actually there. Placing out some infantry uh, anti-tank mines out in the open so we can get a disable engine and then focus it down. I need to click back on the... Sh the, the the my little student tiger don't you just want to pet this tank which is a cute little tank pet it it desires a pet this little tiger wants a pet The what's remaining of the veteran infantry of the American players trying to go forward, but he won't get far versus the armor. Churchill Crocodile is out once again. But the British player has nothing left. The American player does have a Sherman and two Jacksons, by the looks of it. No, two Jacksons and a priest. This priest, one kill? Oh wait, there's a second priest. Almost wiping out that veteran infantry. This Shroom Tiger is just causing so much damage. Priest has a nice 46 kills. Targeting here. Uh, Nothing there. There's just artillery going everywhere. Stoom Tiger. Sorry, I just love my Stoom Tiger. If I didn't make that uh, clear. And plus, I'm pretty tired. It's early in the morning, and this replay has gone over on for an over an hour. Another Stuka bombardment. Here, right into this 25 pounder. Not brace, so it took the full force of that damage. At 18 kills. At Vet 2, it has uh, greater frequency, uh, increases ready time. Should just say reload time. Either way, it will now fire more often. And mobilized engine. The Shrek maybe is finished off. The elephant will definitely kill it to finish it off. Nope, it missed. Oh, we could have sworn that elephant shot here and somehow blows up. Didn't I see that shot go here? I need to rewatch my own replay and just find out. Jackson's game some no that's a 17 pounder and the Jackson not 17 18 pounder 25 pounder getting some nice hits Stoom Pioneers going into repair Jackson's knocks knocked out Stoom Tiger probably going shot for the for the 25 pounder it will not kill in one hit I can say that for sure he should just retreat he's way too vetted up and he's taking way too much damage main gun is destroyed. Trying to stay in cover as much time, throwing grenade, trying to push him out of the area. It's not vetted up, so we can take a lot of damage from the grenade. Of course, this rifleman isn't very vetted up either. Two smoke grenades coming out. The grenadier should just stand in the smoke, prevented from being captured. Throws out a grenade, a little bit too far back, but still kills two members. Apparently, it was actually spread out here, 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 and back here.
Yag Panzer's one that was first repaired. Both sides are down to the last 50 points. The two snipers that are left over from a total, I think, in, in total, I think he built six snipers this entire game. The two that are left are, are what's left. Oh, heat rounds. Those are heat rounds. That last shot wasn't heat. Almost killing this. The heat rounds adds a little bit not amount of damage. Not a lot, but a little. Which can be good and also increases penetration. Stone Pioneer is coming up to capture this point. I think the German player. I'm going to call it, and the German players are going to win. With only two priests and uh, Churchill Crocodile as vehicles, they have nothing to contend with a Vet 3 Elephant and a Vet 4 Stoom Tiger. Ooh, the. There's a. Uh, Panzer. It's 26 infantry kills to get to Vet 3. Of course, probably did some vehicle damage to get there. They have the German has the Germans have way too much supply, well, which too much uh, field presence for them to actually move forward. And this uh, 25 pounder is actually up to bet three, very very nice. Brace the structure, taking minimum damage at this time. If that uh, Stuka walking Stuka had a uh, had an uh, incendiary. Would have been very good. GG, well played. Apparently, he actually hit that little uh, bracket sign next to the P. This has been a very good replay. What could the they've done to do to uh, what could they done something better? Perhaps maybe not take, getting hit by so much by the Stoom Tiger, but the Stoom Tiger is a. Uh, very good at at what it's is at its job. They've lost way too many tanks to this thing. They've lost oh twenty five, well five vehicles destroyed. Which I know it's with the combined of the pack gun stun shot and the student tiger uh, stun and immobilized engine. It destroyed a lot of the Churchills, preventing a good Churchill spam. But other than that, they, and of course the American players, they don't have any good heavy armor. When the Pershing comes out, it might be, it probably will re completely replace the infantry, uh, the, the rifle, not rifle, is it rifle company? I think it is. This is infantry company, so this, this is infantry, I think this, it will be rifle company with the easy aids. Pretty sure the Pershing doctrine, whatever it's called, will maybe completely replace rifle company to the fact that you have rangers which are basically elite infantry Compa who needs an early vet when you have elite infantry I'm just fearing that it will completely replace the rifle company which is a really bad thing having a dog shirt that everybody loved getting replaced by something better Other than that, this was a very good replay. This is Lord Adrian saying thank you for watching and signing off.